Hello and welcome back to Mike Land. Uh, this is Mike 187, and today I'll be showing you several different uh, minecart stations that we have, and uh, show you the advantage of using sign sensors. Right, uh, this station here is one of our older minecart stations. It's uh, if you remember from one of our older videos, it's a bit more aesthetically pleasing this time round. It runs on the using the old system of using pressure plates. And uh, I'll just demonstrate a few of the features if you forget, right? Such as not being able to call more than one minecart at a time, right? It detects whether the station is busy, right? So if the station is busy, someone else is coming down the line. It has a capture block, right? So if you don't bump into each other, still can't order another minecart, right? So now the whole system gets reset. Empty card capture. Good. Okay, hopefully that's all cleared up. Right? Now, problem with these uh, pressure plate systems. I'm new, say I'm new to the server and I really enjoy stepping on pressure plates. Oh no. Right? Now, the, because I've stepped on those, one of those two pressure plates, the whole system thinks that the station is busy. Right? So the uh, catcher block over there actually is, uh, well, has no redstone current to it. So it doesn't let anything through. You can't order a minecart because it's busy. Yeah, and constantly you're always having to either press reset switch or step on the reset uh, pressure plate. All right. Now we'll eventually show you a station that we've made that doesn't have uh, pressure plates. It uses new sign sensors. I'll just show you uh, the inner workings. All right. You can see how it's, uh, it's a bit on the busy side. But this is when you have room. And there's only actually four components to the minecart station. All right, so let's go take a trip All right, down our little railway here. And we'll go see a more, um, what's the term for it? Confined area where we tried to put in a minecart station. This is Other Mike's uh, house. It's right near the spawn. And here we go. Here's a uh, home station. It's um, a little bit more compact and, and trickier to deal with, but you can still use it like any other station. Now we'll just uh, go down below and see what happens. It's a little complex. But most of these, uh, most of the uh, complexity is just from all the different lines that you've had to put in, right, to, to reach everywhere because I've been restricted to only one side, right? It's the same four components per side, right, so that uh, it, gets, it gets a little busy, right? A little hard to find your way out to. Oh, where? Here we go. Right, so you can see a problem with using uh, the normal systems of repeaters and signs and everything, right? So we'll just order another minecart and get going here. Right, this again uses the same old pressure plate system you haven't guessed. Anyways, off in the distance here is Sh Sherwood Station, our modern day station. I have one side, was, which was kind of my first attempt, and then second side, which was uh, second attempt, which is much cleaner. Now, one thing to note is that I actually use elevator signs to put the minecarts downstairs below. Right? This saves a lot of lot of space up here and Joe Blow is not exactly going to be cruising around messing up all the redstone circuits and I will put a door here eventually okay welcome to the modern day station same four components but you can see them discreetly right here's the AND gate right that launches the cart 
It requires input from the uh, cart collar, whatever button or pressure plate that you want. This is the uh, uh, launcher control mechanism, right? This latch. All right. So what happens here? You see this latch. This is the entry sensor, right? And this is the reset sensor. It stands for Sherwood Eastbound Reset. Sherwood Eastbound uh, Entry. Okay. And that's using, I don't know if you can see it up there, short and short eastbound entry. And I can barely see that myself. Anyways, that's, uh, so what happens is that it reset, it, when it's reset, we have redstone current going up to the launcher block, right? So you would pass right over it. Say it's an empty cart, don't want that getting stopped. Right, and here's when uh, it detects an actual person. That's sensor zero zero one for a passenger. Right, this will flip. Right, and then this will actually go turn on and will prevent you from ordering another cart. Because right now it's only the uh, cart collar that's lit. Right, so it's the only one providing power to this AND gate. Right, so it, for this AND gate to work, you have to have the whole system has to be reset, right? So the launcher has to be like that, reset, which is what that this one does. And the reset latch over here has to be reset by the same Sherwood Eastbound reset. Okay. Now you don't want those to be activated, right? Either one. I fell down the same hole. Right either latch to be activated when uh, you have s the stations busy, right? And so what happens is that as soon as the cart is called, I have two delays. See, I've only I put in a little bit of delay so it doesn't uh, mess with the system. Right? Otherwise, it'll call out two carts or something. It, I don't think it happens so much with the, uh, these new uh, diodes that. Uh, were implemented in Minecraft, but with the old uh, system with uh, for repeaters, it definitely did. Right, it definitely was a problem, but I put in the delay anyways. So, and let's see here. And then finally, we have over here. It's kind of like a an extra addition. It, ha it uses a uh, one extra sensor. It detects an empty cart, so sure eastbound empty cart, and it uses the entry sensor as well. Right, so whenever those, whenever that occurs, whenever an empty cart comes in or there's a passenger comes in, you want the, uh, you don't want them to crash into the cart that's already in the station because the station's busy, correct? So uh, this goes up to uh, that extra catcher block I showed you earlier, right? And it uses the again the reset sensor, right? Now. I also use the this is a brick block, and it, so this actually uses the um, brick to guide the um, original. Sorry, uses it to guide in the empty cart. So what ends up happening, right, um, with the empty empty carts? Ah, I'm losing my mind. Anyways, it's better to go show you upstairs. Hey, what are you doing down here? Go away. Hmm. That's not great. It's night down. Oh, there's a brick block right here. Redirects any traffic. Normal traffic goes straight. Empty cart go in. And this one just redirects it all down this way. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We need to show you the reset. So say someone does something stupid. Uh, got caught by the arrows there, right? And it doesn't use the minecart. Gets rid of it. Whoops. Same situation as before, but at least it's not because somebody's uh, stepped on the pressure plates. So hit that button, and it works again. And we're off.
So I hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing all the different stations here. If yeah, that's it.